What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I was going to be showing you all something really, really useful. I'm going to be showing how to get really fast caps as well as really fast experience. This was introduced to me by a level 125 and I will say this is extremely useful. I'm telling you from firsthand experience. It works and it's simple. So let's get into this. Okay, so to start this, you just simply want to go down here to the White Spring Resort and make sure you have the perk card called Cap Collector, as you can see here. You always find more bottle caps when opening a cap stash. That will make this farm run way more efficient, way, way more efficient. I don't know if this is technically some kind of exploit, but it seems like it is with how many bottle caps you truly get by just rinsing and repeating this. It's insane. But uh, anyways, to start this off, you simply want to head over here. There's going to be two outside that you can collect over here. As you can see, one will be right behind this bench. Bam, 130 right there. That's just insane. And from there, you just simply want to go over to this bus. And yeah, like I was mentioning before, I don't really know if this is an exploit, but it seems really broken because you do get a lot of caps and it makes pretty much every vendor seem worthless. Let's just say that much. But yeah, as you can see, a cap stash will be back here. Bam, 40 right there. So what, that's 170 already? But anyways, from there, you simply want to go inside this building, the White Spring Resort. Okay, so once inside, you just want to simply go downstairs to the lobby and then head over toward the shops. Honestly, the only thing that really makes this seem broken is how you can keep rinsing and repeating this. But yeah, you just want to come to this shop right here, this spoke. Anyways, once inside here, you have a chance at a cap stash being right here. Fortunately, it's not here next to Tweed. From here, which by the way, uh, this cap stash farm that I'm showing you, feel free to splurge in these shops. Tons of cool apparel and guns and whatnot. There's just all kinds of shops down here you can check out if you didn't know about this place. It's really unique. Anyways, the next cap stash location will be over here at Studio 58. And you'll have a chance at a cap stash being right here. As you can see, bam, got it for proof. It's always nice. Now from here, we're just going to exit back out of the building. And I will mention, just because you see what I'm getting during this run, you could get more potentially. Like as you saw in the beginning, I got like 132 off one cap stash. There is a chance that can happen every time or more times than it's happening to me this run. So keep that in mind. I'm telling you guys, this is really, really efficient. This level 125 here for Pete's sake showed me about this and was doing it himself. I mean, he's 125. Big props to sit right there though for introducing me to this. He's introduced me to a lot of handy tips. Now we are headed over to the bus. And like I was mentioning before how this is broken and how it only seems broken because it can be rinsed and repeated. I don't know if Bethesda is able to patch this or not. At the moment I will say this is in the game and you are able to do this just by you know leaving the world and going into a new world to get these cap stashes to respawn. In the future, however, I don't know if they're going to work around this to get this patched. I mean, either way, I'm not complaining. This is really helpful, I'm not going to lie. It gets me tons of cap stashes, and also I get a ton of experience from doing this farm run. Because after you collect this cap stash inside the bus, the next area is going to be where we're going to be fighting some enemies. Actually, going onward from this area, we're going to be encountering plenty of enemies for plenty of experience, too. That's a glowing death claw. Uh, yeah. Sid will take care of that. <laughs> I did not bring a good weapon, <laughs> per se. I only brought a Bowie knife. I just like the way it looks when you get it out. The little spinning effect. Anyways, here is where you'll be uh, encountering some more enemies. As you can see, we've been through here. So yeah, keep that in mind. There will be a few enemies, but you have a chance at a cap stash being down here. Banger. And then from here, you could check in these lockers and there is a chance at being a cap stash in one of these lockers, but it's not there. Dang it. Anywho, from here, we just want to make our way out. 
Alrighty, so now when you leave the building, you just want to head left over to this path. Now, as you can see from exiting back out of there, you just simply want to head up this route. So yeah, pretty much just go down in that building to check the bathroom and the lockers. Now there will be quite a bit of ghouls that can encounter you around in this area, so be cautious of just passing up these buildings because you might get sneak attacked, especially when you're focusing to pick up the cap stash. That's where you're going to get the moment of surprise on you. Yeah. I'm talking from experience, that's right. Learn out the forewarning now. Once again, just be sure to be checking these. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? Snap, crackle, pop, right here in front of us. Right here in front, this is a prime example. Right here in the building that we need to be in for the next cap stash. We almost got hit by a sneaky beaver. Anyways, in this building here, there is a chance at a cap stash being on this shelf. This farm run I'm telling you is really simple. Just feel free to rewatch the video if you get lost at any point. But yeah, when you come up this flight of stairs, you just simply want to go inside this building. And it'll be on this shelf in here. Anyways. Going onward. There's quite a bit of other cap stashes that we could check out. There's a chance that one being on this gazebo. Bada bing, bada boom, it's there. And watch out, you can get sneak attacked. <laughs> they come up behind you quite a bit. So, be careful when you are looking down at the cash stash or whatever. Now, from that gazebo, we're getting close, we're getting close, guys, to the end of this, where you just want to exit the world and see if they spawn back. But yeah, you just want to come over here, and there will be a chance at a cap stash being behind this door. Oh my goodness. Move! Okay, there it is. Bam! Anyways, from here, you just want to head over this way. There will be some enemies that can be here, as you can see. But inside here, there's a chance at a cap stash being on this shelf right here. Anyways, from there, you just simply want to go up on these decks again. Take out the ghouls that might sneak attack you. Be cautious. But this is good experience as well, keep that in mind. Just because there's a lot of enemies doesn't mean anything, you're also getting good XP. So yeah, just be sure once you get here though, you want to check underneath this rosy chair. Very decorative, very decorative. Okay, anyways, from here, we're going to continue on the deck for experience, that is. If you don't really care about the experience and you just want the cap stash, uh, you just simply want to go toward the end of the road. Pretty much one of the road entrances to this place. We're getting to the last one. This is the home stretch. This is the last and final cash stash. Right underneath this terminal in here. BAM! Now keep in mind, I have spent quite a bit on vendors, on apparel. I've also bought the Dragon, which is kind of expensive. I don't know. I've spent quite a bit of bottle caps, but this is something really easy to go out and do. And to rinse and repeat this, all you simply want to do is just pull up the start menu, go to social, go over to team, go over your name, and just simply leave world. You don't even have to leave the team. And once again, just rinse and repeat. But this, of course, is better to do solo, I will say, because your team can also see the cap stashes that are on the ground. So keep that in mind. Definitely, when you are doing this, I highly suggest doing this solo because, you know, you just don't want to fight over something 
stupid. It might end up being a race or something. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully this ends up helping you all out. And if it did, consider leaving a like on a video. That's always greatly appreciated. And maybe stick around and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. That's totally up to you, though. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Peace.